Heather here and welcome back to my channel. I'm excited because my husband and I are having a date night tonight and I recently got this Barbie X Pure eyeshadow palette and I haven't used it yet and I thought I would use it on date night tonight and I would do a review on it, do some swatches. I also got my um, October Ipsy bag in the mail so I figured I would show you the products in that too and maybe use some of those. To start off though, I haven't done this in many of my recent videos so I'm going to tell you what I'm reading. I'm currently reading The Demon Crown by James Rollins. He is really good. I've only read about 70 pages so far of the book. If you are a fan of Dan Brown, you will probably really like him. He does kind of like the whole like secret society, conspiracy theory type uh, stories, um, which I really like. And he has, it's called The Sigma Force, and there's like 18 or 19 books in the series right now. This is one of his newer ones. I also read, the other one I read of him, his is The Seventh Plague, which is kind of like the scientific proof or possibility of how the seven plagues of Egypt happen, happened, which is pretty cool. And then this one is about like some deadly venom or something and some prehistoric bug that has been preserved in amber and how this, the guild in Japan is going to, or it, it starts off, I haven't, like I said, I've only read 70 pages of like makes you believe the guild is going to use it to kind of take over the world. I don't know if that's actually what <laughs> is going to happen, but I can keep you posted about that. Now on to the swatching. <laughs> Ooh, this is a beautiful case. Oh my goodness. And that's rose gold on the back. That is super pretty. I really like that. Huh. Cute. They're actually has the cute little Perex Barbie on top of all the pretty swatches or all the pretty colors. Look at all the pretty colors. Oh my goodness. It has a nice big beautiful mirror. Probably look at yourself there. Oh you have such pretty pink colors. Okay. Let's see here. Oof, and I like that one too. That one's really pretty too. Alright, let's see here. Let's get some of these swatching. Oof. Okay, so these are the first ones I got. This one, ooh. Hang on, maybe it'd be better to do it this way. Yeah, here we go. So, this one here is fantasy. It's pretty like a, a light shimmer color. This one is pretty in pink. This one is accessory. This one is Role Model, and then this pink sparkly one is Dollhouse. Oof. Those are so pretty. Okay. I'm going to use paper towel and my Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleanser Water to get this off. This stuff is pretty good. Well, the sparkles don't really come off very well. Let's see here. Okay. Okay, sparkles will remain on my, my... All right, so the next ones we have here. This purple one here is called Fashionista. This one here is called Empowered. Then we have Barbie, so this is her signature color. <laughs> then we have Dreamtopia, which is one of the Barbie series that you can watch. And we also have Vintage. So those are the next swatches. These these here are all really pigmented. They like one swipe, one swipe. Like they're really nice. I'm really liking this purple. This purple's really pretty. All right, two colors left. All right, last two swatches. We've got the blue one is Ken, and then this really dark one is 1959. So those are the last two. Those are all very pretty and they're really good quality. Then, so this was the October Ipsy Glam Bag. I already opened it and used some of the stuff today when I did my face. 
Um, I've only done, I did like all the primer and moisturizers and cleansers and all that. And then I put on my BB cream and my um, face powder and that's it. Uh, but it came with this, there's, they had like a special Ipsy with uh, Betty Boop collection. Boop. I got the brush. I've been getting a lot of concealer brushes from them, but I just use them for like eyeshadow or um, highlighter or whatever. I don't use the brushes for what they're supposed to be used for. I use them for whatever I need them for. <laughs> then I also got this Belief, Believe in Truth, the True Cream Aqua Bomb. I put this on today on my face, and my face feels pretty nice right now. I also have the Juno & Co. Moonshine Miracle Cream. Um, I've also just been... I've been wearing a lot of makeup because I'm trying to like really get rid of all my acne scars and try to keep um, the acne off my face and everything. So I feel like putting on makeup every single day is going to hinder that progress. So special occasions, I'm wearing makeup. Then I also got this cute uh, Betty Boop X Bipsy like clear lipstick stuff. I'm gonna pro I'm gonna put this on over top of what I used today. I also tried this. It's on my face now. It's called Private Doctor by ID Hospital Define Minus Serum, and it's formulated to minimize lines and create definition. So I put some of this. It had a warning that it might make your face tingle. It did nothing to my face, so I don't know if that means it's not working or I just don't have sensitive skin. Um. Then I got this. Lenny Byron Bay like eyeshadow which is really pretty it's basically just glitter <laughs> oh yeah it's kind of like a glittery pink almost kind of like a rose gold color maybe it's nice because Ipsy will ask, actually ask you like what's your skin tone like are you cool or warm what colors do you like? What products do you like? And they'll actually make bags that have things that you'll actually wear in them instead of random useless stuff. And then I got this cool new, it's called Space Case Cosmetics and it is a highlighter. So I'm going to try this out today. It's a pretty, pretty cool color. I like that. And then yeah, you get, um, I think it's what, five, one, two, three, four, five, Six. You get six products and then you get a makeup bag for like $12, which is really good and it comes out um, once every month. You get to actually choose one product that you want out of like, it's like six or nine choices. So I believe this is what I chose, the serum. And then the others were just, are you interested? Okay, this is what you're getting, which is really cool. Maybe it was this I chose. I forget. It was one of these that I chose. Alright. And then I'm going to start doing my face. I usually like to do my highlighter and my uh, blush first. So since we're using this highlighter, let's do this first. And I'm going to use actually this. This is another concealer brush I got last month from Ipsy, but I've been using it for highlighter. I like to put it like on the top of my cheekbones. Then I usually like to put some right underneath my brows. So I like to put it like right up here to highlight my eyebrows. I usually do a little bit of my nose. Mm, nice and shiny. And then I might, I've seen people do this. They do a little bit here. And then I like to do creases to accent. I have a cleft chin or a butt chin, whatever you want to call it. Oh, there's my highlighter. Now I'm going to do my blush. I got this last month in my Etsy bag. It's a nice big size, like, I got the one that's supposed to be, like, the trial size, but you still get full-size makeup sometimes, which is really nice. So, 
I don't want to do too much. This is like a darker shade for like fall. I usually do like a brighter pink, but. I don't want too much. Okay. Trying to make it. I like the whole natural look. I don't want to look like I have tons of makeup on my face. My husband doesn't like me to wear tons of makeup either, so. Um, now for my eyeshadow. I'm going to use one of these brushes here. going to start with, I think, yeah. I'm going to start with Fantasy and put this all over my eye as like a base color. eyeshadow. I think this is better than Too Faced. So I like have two um, Too Faced like palette thingies and the eyeshadow on that like it goes everywhere. It's really pretty colors but it goes everywhere. This I don't feel is there's a term there's a professional term for that but I don't know what it is. So there's fantasy all over my eyelids. I don't know which color to use. I guess I'll do this lighter pink here which is uh, Pretty in Pink. I'll use the Pretty in Pink color on uh, my eyelid. Okay, so there's the Pretty in Pink on my eyelids. And I think in the creases, I'm just going to do the dollhouse-like pink sparkles. So I'm going to do the dollhouse pink sparkles right here on the crease area. That's after I put on Dollhouse. It pretty much just made sparkles everywhere. <laughs> um, but I'm okay with that. Um, let me see if I can like almost use this as an eyeliner. We'll see what happens here. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to use Fashion. -y no, I'm going to attempt to use Dreamtopia as like an eye liner on the top lid. We'll see how this works. Alright, so that's what it looks like after I used Dreamtopia as like an eyeliner. Kind of worked, but I probably needed a better brush to actually make it work work. I think I'm going to use this new pink um, eyeliner stuff, or eyeshadow, and put it like in the corner as like a highlighter. Sorry, my cat's playing with a, one of the uh, drawer thingies I'm going to be putting in my closet. I will eventually have a closet tour and a, a new filming area, but it's taking, it's, it's a long process working two jobs, <laughs> trying to clean and get stuff organized. That's what it looks like now with this um eyeshadow in the corner of my eyes i'm now going to take my powder brush i use this to like take all the excess powder and just kind of go over my eyes to get all the excess eyeshadow off of my face right. and then i'm going to use the bu model mascara intense as my mascara 
This is really hard. I can't see. <laughs> I'm blind. Mm. All right. So there is my eyes with my mascara on. They are now complete. Now I need to do my lips and that should be it. So I also got this last month in my September Ipsy bag. It's the Ofra Madison Miller Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. Oh my rah rah. So there is the color. It's very fall. I wouldn't want to wear this in like the spring. This is a very pretty fall color though. And then to finish it all up, I'm going to put on this Betty Boop. I need to put setting spray on my face and I already did my eyelashes, so that's going to be fun. Alright, so there are my lips with the Betty Boop uh, Ipsy. shimmery lips put on top and then I need to do my setting spray. I should have done before my eye cap or mascara. I hope this does not make it run. We'll see what happens. Wish me luck. Alright, so here's my finished makeup. Oh, the setting spray I used was the Too Faced Festival Refresh Mystical Effects. I really like this one. Um when I want to be extra like sparkly and pretty. So I really like the Barbie X Pure palette. It's really nice. The colors are gorgeous. I think, you know, this is a look. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, you know, if you're interested, uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell next to subscribe because I don't have a consistent uh, posting schedule. And thank you all so much for watching, and if you're wondering why I didn't wear my glasses, it's because I was doing my makeup. You have a great day, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye!